All right, I'm gonna try to give a quick tour of my messy garage studio. Um, I only have one painting up so far right here. Uh, the rest I have stashed over there in progress or just stored. Um, it's very, it's still a garage too, so it's very messy out here. Here's, uh, well, I'll just start at the beginning. Here's um, supplies for staining game boards. And here's about 10 or 12 game boards here that are done. Um, they're all sanded and stained. They are, oh, you know, I still have to print the logo on the back, but they're, they're pretty much done. And here, these are pretty much done, except they haven't been uh, sanded or stained yet, or printed logos on the back. But the, the main designs are done. They're still covered with sawdust. And here's another pile of however many here that are ready to go. They need to be sanded and stained. These are linoleum blocks. This is gonna be one of my next projects that are coming down, another all-field artifact kind of game. All these linoleum blocks are gonna be cards. So we got 49 plus um, the, uh, the back, back design for the card. So 50, 50 linoleum cut prints. Um, Here's a big stack of wood that I've chopped with the miter saw to size, but I need to start putting grids and designs on. So this is my next batch of woodwork to do. Here's some paint. Uh, here's a little clay character I made. It's the, the main character of the graphic novel I'm working on. This is Lada Tear. She's so little and cute. Uh, so I have that. Uh, let's see, these are clay. They haven't been fired, but these are the, I carved these out of dry clay, and these are the stamps I put into the ballot pieces. So there's the moon for the little cubes. This is the path, looks kind of like butterfly. Uh, here's the trap stamp, and then the, the three-pronged area is the open part of the pit. And this, the one side is where it directs the pieces that it traps. Here is the, let's see, that's the star. And there is the trap. And then, oh, here's a couple loose ballots hanging around. So there's that. This desk was my grandpa's desk back at his house when I was little. I'd sit here. He, did, he was an engraver for uh, Hunter Arms and Elsie Smith. Uh, shotguns and he would do his engraving on this vice over here um, I think I have some... Oh, yeah, here's some more supplies for things I have some stones I just got from Lake Ontario down here I have my brayer and some I use this candle to um, wax the boards and the cards so there's the jute string that we use and some of the printing blocks this is what I use to make the ballots. I shape them down this channel and use these to size it. And then I finish touching up just on the outside and rolling it around. So that's a tool that I made to use. Here's a stack of boards that I'm finishing up. They're at various stages of getting closer to being done. Uh, this one looks pretty much done. Um, uh, Sharpies and circles. This is what I use for the, the circle designs on the boards. And let's see. Over here we have uh, 60 boxes. Each one is a different card. These are those all-field RPG cards. Um, this is like a, a role-playing game that even little little children can play on their own. It's it's called you know Adventure for Everybody. But anyway, these are this is my preview deck. The full game is 300 cards. I picked 60 of them and printed a thousand um, so I could hand them out as preview cards. And over here, let's see, I already pulled some up in here. Oh man, all right, I forgot about these. I did these like last year. These are, I looked up ancient card games and like on an anthropology site and it showed some old card games discovered in China and they had this neat long shape so I copied it and I wanted to make an all-field game. Um, these haven't been aged or anything. I just was practicing. I never did woodblock prints. So I wanted them to look really rustic and I did woodblock prints. 
to test out the idea and I really like it. So there's gonna be, um, this is gonna be part of the all field card game too. This is a different project. This is like a game that comes right from the world. I even tried doing it on paper that I made, but they came out way too rough. Um, all right, so here's that art, the preview deck. I just printed out the box at a store on a piece of paper. I designed it. Then I cut, had to cut them out, fold it up, and make a box. But here's what they look like um, without the box. We'll zip through them real quick, make a mess. So there's one of the few evil characters with a capital E in the game. We have characters, there's objects, there's plants, animals, locations. Um, some of the cards are gold, those are like legendary. More characters and plants. This is a brush berry bush. I kind of think of this as like Smurf berries um, that they use for everything in the Smurfs. Kind of stealing brush berries. So they use these to eat and drink and make drinks and stuff. And they use the red berries actually to dye the boards for their stars game. Um, I guess I've thought about these way too much. So uh, animals, characters, these are all things from the first book coming out. Trees, uh, buildings, that's a pet. They, those are a popular pet. And there's even a couple little, let's see. Oh, yeah. There's a moons and stars. This is this is how it's you know started is just that. So there's moons and stars on there. And I even think there's the little deity figures. Oh, there's astronomy cards. There's powers. Another astronomy. Another little bunny character. Old bunny character. Yeah. Maybe that's enough of looking at these. But I thought there was. Ooh, this is a, an outfit made out of clay beads. I'm probably gonna have to make that too. Um, oh yeah, so these are little toys that kids would make and fire them in their campfires. So that's where I got the idea for the, the deity figurines. There's a cad bath and an inic, and then, um, oh, yeah, this is like a little alligator guy. I didn't make him. This'll have to be a new deity figurine. I forgot about that little guy. Yeah, that'll be cool. So anyway. So there's a whole bunch you get in this preview deck. And then the, there's geology cards. Then there's like, um, there's 300 in the main one. And I'd like to do a set of 300 cards with every book that I put out in the series. So anyway, there's some of the wood, wood block prints that I was carving for those little cards. And over here's like where the sander is and the chop saw. And that's a bunch of junk. Here's some, some more clay I have. Um, tools and stuff are down here. Um, this is actually my sister's drawing desk. It's beautiful, but I'm holding on to it for her and actually using it a little bit. This is where I'm storing all the deity figurines and the ballots. There's not too many ballots in here right now. I just sent out a handful of review games, so I have to get cranking on it. These are all fired, but this helps me keep things organized. I think there's more like, yeah, there's like 25 of these in here right now. So I'm getting there. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Um, there's a bunch of cutups. So fun just to have boxes of these. It's so neat. Um, and that's where I store those. Those are where I organize all the deities and the ballots. This is where I'm working on. This is where I do the clay too, but I'm set up for wood right now. This was a long description. So you can cut this down, delete it, do whatever you want. Um, and this is my messy, 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 messy studio. Thank you.